Hey guys, uh, it's Fifty Shades FTE. I'm here with Sean McCauley, who I've known for a long time now. And he's gonna go over the rain and the rain micro and all the features. Okay, so we'll just dig in. Uh, so the rain and the rain micro, it's our version of a traditional weapon light with some enhancements that just haven't been available before. Uh, just to kind of really quickly hit on a few things. Uh, three millimeter glass up front, it'll take some munitions hits on average, uh, five to six, maybe seven hits, point blank range with a five, five, six Sims kit before you fracture that. If you do fracture it, it's a field serviceable lens, so you can just unscrew the bezel ring, dump the old glass, put new glass on it, back on, good to go. So you don't have to send it to us, which is nice. Uh, also got an S7 tool steel bezel ring, it's heat treated to 55 Rockwell. S7 is the same stuff they make jackhammer bits out of, so it's an impact tool. Really, really tough. Uh, you can drive nails with it. Not that you should, but you can. Uh, that's critical for impact. If you drop the gun, first thing it's going to take the hit is probably the light because it's hanging outboard of the weapon. So we wanted to make something incredibly robust, duty grade. So on the front end, you got that. Uh, you and I talked performance a little bit. Yes. Um, she's powerful. <laughs> so you've got at least 58,000 candela coming out of this thing which means we can throw light farther than anybody else. Uh, we use a 4,000K light temperature at the diode, so it's a warmer light. Uh, in this room, it's uh, it's more of a, a natural, almost incandescent look, and that's what we use. The Owl uses that too. We kept it kept it here uh, just because it's such a superior light. It helps your eye perceive colors better at night. It defeats photonic barriers better, uh, fog, high humidity, things like that. It helps defeat street lights, window tint, uh, lots of reasons to do that. So we've got a really good diode with high candela, good usable spill, which is critical on a weapon application. Uh, and then kind of moving back towards the back half of the light. Uh, light body, we actually use a standardized uh, mounting pattern, which has been available forever. Lots of guys have mounts by a lot of different companies. We didn't want to reinvent the wheel. We don't really do that. We just wanted to make some enhancements. So you can mount it to any of your uh, traditional scout light or uh, screen light mounts. Uh, we've got our own line of mounts, which would be Picatinny and Mlock, so we'll be offering those, but they do retrofit to others. The back half of the light's where it gets interesting. Um, so what we did here is something totally different. It's a cartridge design, so what that means is you take your cap off and the back half just pops out. So. Um, this is a push button only configuration. We've got remote switching configurations too. And with our remote switch, what's interesting about that is the cable exits in line with the lugs, which are the mounting device. So if you're mounting this to your rail, the cable is going to exit towards your rail and then it's protected and completely shrouded by the body. And so there's no, oops, sorry, fumbled it. Uh, there's no uh, excess cable, there's nothing loose. And so you, what you're not gonna fight is cable coming out the back of the light, taking hits historically with the weapon light, that is a huge liability. Um, they're generally the most fragile part of the light. It's a place for water ingress. You can have electrical failures happen because of that. Ours is completely over molded in-house. We do all of this in-house. Waterproof, absolutely waterproof. Submersible, IPX8 rating, so you can dive with it if you need to. Um, and you don't have the, the cable liability, so that's a really big feature. And real quickly, uh, yes. I've seen this on social, yep. the battery jack, can you go over that? Yeah, so the battery jack is uh, something that we did because batteries vary in length greatly. So uh, what you've got here is an 18650, and an 18650 has a protected cell, it's an unprotected cell. And historically, you've got battery springs that provide pressure, and um, it's an issue because the batteries move around inside the light during recoil. So I've got this set up so it's loose. With the battery jack, all you do, the user just tightens it down and provides positive tension on it just enough. So the way you feel it, should be about right there. Now it's a rock. So under recoil, now your battery is fully supported. It takes the stress off the springs, it enhances the life of the system, and it allows you to run any 18650 on the market. So that's a pretty big thing. All right, and then uh, let's go over uh, uh, runtime real quick, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then availability. Okay, so runtime. Uh, these numbers are all pending. So the candela I gave you is still pending, final testing. Uh, the uh, uh, the lumen output, which I'll say right now, very confidently, thirteen hundred minimum, probably more like thirteen fifty to fourteen hundred. Uh, very powerful. So a little bit more powerful than the owl. 
um, runtime, 80 to 120 minutes based on the battery, and that's where the, the battery size that you choose comes in. Battery type, these are all not created equal. Some of them have higher capacities than others, some of them dump more energy than others, so you get more output with one, you get more runtime with another. You can take your pick. Uh, but either way, they're really healthy runtimes. It's a direct drive system, so you can turn the light on and leave it on for hours and hours and hours. Not that you'd want to go into a gunfight with that, <laughs> but you could, it, it will produce usable light for that long. And um, on the availability, we're shipping in April. Very so cool. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, this looks yep. amazing. Thank you. And I see a lot of uh, end users using this um, um, that run IR and all those other systems mm -hmm. or just want a similar light. And yeah. Oh, speaking of one other feature since you said that. Okay. Uh, weight. People are going to ask what yes. it weighs. Uh, we're, if you look at a comparative Surefire Scout light with their DS00 tail cap, remote switch, we're about 1 to 1 1.5 ounces heavier. Purely a function of just being as robust as we are, steel up front, things like that. But if you can live with one ounce, you're going to get something that is incredibly tough. Um, so that's one thing. Length is something else people ask about. We're shorter than that system. So we're a little bit shorter. We're just a hair heavier. and. Um, and that's a, that's a big thing. I guess it's all something we can all live with. Oh, so. uh, yeah, absolutely. I hope so. Well, again, uh, Fifth Shades FDE, thanks for watching. We're Sean McCauley at College Defensive. And they have a booth, so yep. check them out. N351. Yes. Booth, so. so the next level.